straight single arm triceps kickback, you will need a dumbbell. I recommend starting lighter than you're normally lifting for, say, a biceps curl, lighter than that, and a supportive surface. And I'll tell you about the height of the supportive surface as I show you the form. So turn and face toward that surface with your feet parallel, hip width apart. Whatever arm's going to be doing the work, holding the dumbbell, step that side foot back and take a split stance. From here, rotate your hips toward the surface and then drive your hips backward as you hinge and your torso comes forward with a flat back. Now place your hand or your forearm on that surface. Here's where the height comes into play. We want our torso to be just above parallel with the floor, ideally. If we're way up here and we're doing this exercise, we're not really getting the benefit of having to work against gravity as much as we are when our torso is lower. So if you're way up here, it's not gonna be as effective as if you are in that full hinge, which means for me, this is not gonna be low enough. I would need either a lower surface or to place my forearm on the couch. All right, so once you've found that position, make sure first you're not rounding your back or dropping your head or letting your shoulders come forward. You're not arching your back, lifting your head. You want a neutral spine here, tuck your chin, roll your shoulder down and back. Row the weight up so that your elbow meets your waistline. And from here, inhale, and as you exhale, extend your arm straight back behind you. So we're punching the weight back and up toward the sky, squeezing our triceps. Ooh, that will burn pretty quickly. 